What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overload here. She's talking about Screen 5 again here today. So there has been this 12 Days of Christmas that started earlier this week on Monday. We officially got the poster that I was talking to you guys about in the last video that I did regarding Screen 5. You see it here on your screen. This is a tremendous poster. I think this is honestly one of the best that they've ever put out from this franchise, honestly. Uh, I've seen all of the stuff about, you know, comparing it to Marvel, etc. I, I hear where you're coming from. It's still a phenomenal poster as far as I'm concerned. The the way they have the trio position and just how everyone else. I did see someone kind of point out like Team Richie versus Team Sam. I do get those vibes. I don't think that's what they were going for. But I do like how the trio's position. I like how Ghostface is looming over all of them. Uh, to kind of just show the grip it has on Woodsboro since this would be now be the third Ghostface killing spree that would unfold in this town. The other stuff that's happened recently is after that day. So after day one on day two, we got a suspect list of or just going through the suspects. I think Sydney was like suspect number one. Gail was suspect number two, I believe. It just went through all the different characters and returning characters down a list of suspects. We did also get some new footage from the... I think it was a Brazil t trailer of sorts. This new footage also gave us a glimpse of one of the more humorous aspects of the film, which I do like kind of seeing that now that we're getting closer, showing us that the humor is indeed going to be there. It's not just going to be as straightforward and serious as the trailer made it out to be, which again, that trailer was doing it right. Save all of that for the actual film itself to make for a better experience when you see how well it balances between the horror and the, uh, the comedy. Because one thing about the Ready or Not trailer, because they they are behind Radio Silence is behind Ready or Not, the comedy I, I would argue was very much present in that trailer. Whereas with this, they're taking it in a different direction where they want to save that, I guess, for you to sit down and watch the film. But we got to see a glimpse of it in this new Brazil footage where like Richie makes a comment about I'll be right back, kind of like referencing an homage to Stu or just quoting Stu. He could actually I just realized this. This could be a line from the actual stab movie itself. and He's trying to quote stab. Or they could just go over the rules of horror movies again. And then they uh then Richie just decides to leave. He says, I'll be right back. I it looks like he the way it's cut looks like he's saying it to Mindy. She looks and says she just kind of laughs that he's gonna die, <laughs> and then it just ends. So I can already see a lot of people laughing at that in, in the theater when this movie comes out. The other thing I want to talk about really quick regarding that footage is of course, since Mindy again is wearing that that color pattern similar to how her uncle was wearing it, Randy, in the original film, I'm still very curious about her having a moment in the film very similar to Randy's where she goes over sequels and how they are or goes over inferior sequels and maybe why it's, these sequels are inferior or how franchises have kind of run themselves into the ground or just how franchises have started off in such a good place and then they've gone on into these wild obnoxious directions that are beyond repair there could also be this could also be a, a scene where they actually go over some modernized modernized rules to survive in a horror movie because i wouldn't say the rules honestly are something that need to be focused on this time around only because of the fact that horror is in such a good standing right now compared to where it was back in the day that there's so many different avenues of the, that stuff is not being case i feel like there's a trend of us trying to break the mold of what we already know to be true but if they have some rules that they want to address in this new film they can go ahead and do that that's no issue now on day three which is today of the 12 days of christmas for the scream film we have been given a naughty or nice list gif now i know that was a little disappointing for some people we're all expecting something or a lot of us are expecting just something i guess monumental in some capacity anything that relates to tickets going on sale anything that has to do with a new trailer coming out if i were to guess i would imagine that they would if not this week definitely sometime next week only because next week is the anniversary of that original film being released. So what better way to honor that than releasing the final trailer of it, of the upcoming film on the day of that anniversary. I just see them doing that. Kind of like how with the whole Harry Potter thing, we just got our first look at Fantastic Beast and they made a big deal out of it being 20 years since we got introduced to the Wizarding World in film form anyway so they could be doing the same thing with the screen trailer waiting for an anniversary like the actual release of the original film to put out something regarding the new trailer for this for the upcoming screen five what could we get for the rest of the week well i've already made it clear that on friday the plan as of right now from what i've been able to see i cannot share it uh 
the the tickets are supposed to go go on sale friday could it change of course it could change they could announce it to be sooner but as far as like what was sent out to a lot of theaters it is planning to start selling on the 17th in fact if you go ahead and to back this up amc has already put out a tweet for this they put out a tweet for this yesterday around like 8 a.m shout out to k for bringing this to my attention they put out a tweet referencing the film and you can already set a reminder for tickets to go on sale further backing that it might go on sale this friday or at least that's what the plan is because again there's already been stuff sent out for them to start selling the tickets on friday so whether or not they do it earlier early or not that's that's fine if they do it early but the again the plan from what i've been able to see verified it they are looking to start selling them this friday and the other thing i guess we should probably hope for during this countdown would be new steals from the film i know in the new footage we do get some like you guys are actually just taking the video and screen capping it honestly they're not like official steals that are being released but you're just screen capping it there's moments of where gail is clearly very sad about something i don't think we need to even go over what that is it's pretty much obvious at this point for a lot of us for those of you who, who it's not that obvious to you'll get a better surprise out of it if what i'm sure the moment still will be very impactful and emotional for everyone that watches it regardless of how obvious it is or isn't for you and we see a shot of Gail, what looks like her firing a gun. So she's going to go through some emotional roller coasters during this movie. And it makes me kind of very excited to see Courtney Cox's performance this time around because she always, I would say, has brought out a different side of Gail with each new film. Um, and with this one, I, when I say she's brought out a different side, there's like so many layers to the character so like the per the performance and the way gail is going to be portrayed this time around starting off if she has like a moment that makes her just kind of very saddened for a good chunk of the movie i don't think we've ever we've never seen the side of that from gail so that, that alone has me excited to see another side of gail once again we're pulling off another layer to the character that is gail weather she's so layered she has so many different things that we haven't seen from her yet that we've seen from Sydney countless times since she's our heroine, but we haven't seen Gail go through all those emotions like that the way it looks like we're going to get to see in screen five. But let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below. What do you hope to see during this countdown 12 days of Christmas? If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe, turn on post notification, and never miss a video. In the description, I have links to my social media accounts, my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course, to let me know if there is any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.